Hey you guys, so I'm just working on something and I thought that I would make a quick video to show you um, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Basically I have this image here, it's a watercolor splotch and right now it's on a white background and what I really want to do is make the background transparent so that I can use this image as a Photoshop brush. So what I'm going to do is show you how to take a white background like this and make it transparent. So essentially we're getting rid of the white and you'll be able to overlay this image on top of other images without any worry um, about the white background at all. Okay so first of all what we're going to do is select all of this image and then we're going to copy it. So I'm going to control A to select all and then control C to copy it. And then we're going to go over here to our layers um, menu over here and we're going to choose the channels option. And then if you go to the very bottom over here there's an icon for creating a new channel. So we're just going to click that and it's going to be called Alpha 1. Um, you can double click that to change the title if you want but we're not going to. We're just going to leave it. Now what we're going to do is paste in our image Control V or you can go edit paste um, and it's going to appear here in this channel layer. So now we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Invert, to invert the image like so. And then we're going to go back to our Layers panel. We're going to create a new layer here. Again, that same button at the bottom is going to create a new layer this time, Layer 1. And now we're going to go to Select, Load Selection, and then we're going to choose that channel, the Alpha 1 channel that we created. I'm going to click OK. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's um, the little marquee dots all around it. And then all we're going to do is go to Edit, Fill, choose black or whatever solid color that you want, um, and then click OK. And then it's going to fill in that area. And then we're going to diselect. So Control D. And then if we hide the background layer, you can see that the white has now become transparent. And I'll show you the actual image. I'll just make a new layer and fill it in white. So this is the actual um, image that we just created. And we're just going to hide that background. And if we save this now as a PNG image, the background will remain transparent and these layers will basically disappear, the, the ones that you just hid. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, I know this was kind of a newer trick that I learned. I was doing things differently before and I found this way much easier. So I hope it helped you out and I'll talk to you next time.